Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is 1 p.m. here in Crystal Lake, Illinois. That means it's time for another live stream. Today is Thursday, June 22nd, 2023. Uh, we've already hit the longest day of the year. I think the summer solstice was yesterday. And I don't know why, but I always thought that the solstice... Maybe this is for the winter solstice, but I always thought I always thought that the solstice meant that there was equal amounts of daylight and nighttime. But I don't think that's the case, or maybe that's different depending on where you are in the world. But all the people were telling me that it's the longest day of the year yesterday, the most sunlight. So I'm not really sure where we are, but it's hot. It's summertime here in the Midwest. And uh, yeah, I'm really feeling it. Just posted something on the Instagram stories today from yesterday's run. Did a little outfit of the day pose and uh, we played a game of sweat or pee because I wore green shorts and it was not clear to me or probably anyone who saw me out there on the trails yesterday or on the bike path, whether or not I was sweating or maybe I had peed myself about 50, 50 chance either way, although it's really hot. So the likelihood that I was that hydrated that I could pee myself that much, pretty unlikely. So that's kind of like your hint. <laughs> all right let's say hi to everyone before we get too much further into it so hi to everyone listening on the podcast on the audio only version you guys got a bonus today earlier this week i had a chance to sit down with dakota linworm sit down virtually uh, with dakota linworm uh, that video version of that is going to go up on this channel the kofuzi run club channel uh tomorrow as a bonus episode as a standalone video but you guys listening on the podcast you guys got it this morning earlier today so you guys will have it for like almost an entire day before anyone else. And that's a little reward for those of you who are listening to this while you're out there on the run. And hopefully, maybe you're peeing yourself on the run. Maybe you're not. But I feel like this is a time of year where you can get away with it. If you need to go, just go for it. Do it. You can do it. Just tell everyone it's sweat. No one's going to question you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's making me laugh so much. <laughs> I also want to say hi to everyone listening on the audio only version of the podcast. You know, I had a really good number one for today, um, what this would be the number one podcast for for today, but I totally lost it. But, you know, this is one of I'd say without having to niche down super specific, I'd say this is probably you're 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 watching one of the top 100 running themed YouTube live streams. So welcome. You picked well. This is the right place for you. I'm glad that you're here. So even if you're not watching live, because I know not everyone can watch live. So um, I, I appreciate all of you guys that are watching. And I do, do think I don't look at the analytics too much for the Kabuzi Run Club channel because um, I'm not worried about it too much. I like who's here. I'm having fun with you guys. Um, I appreciate the you guys that are watching and listening. I'm not worried about like enhancing growth. So I don't look at the numbers too much, but every time I kind of do peek at it, it does look like there might be more people that watch it after the fact than watch it live at this point. So I feel like that's a good sign. And you're in good company if that's if that's you. All right, let's see who we got in the chat here today. Sam Barclay says, yo, what's going on? Hot sweaty 10K done. Pizza's almost ready and the live show's about to start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but you said pizza in this, com in this comment in the chat. And it just feels to me like you're like, maybe it's because of this profile picture that you got here. Sam, where you're wearing like a Pikachu costume, but I'm just envisioning that like you're like a kid that's like staring at pizza rolls in a toaster oven, and you're you're waiting ready for them to to be done and waiting for that bing that that bell to go off. <laughs> it's a fun image. Uh, Randon Lewis says, "This is a new shoe." No, this is not a new shoe. Even though this box says that there's shoes in here, I don't I don't think that there's shoes in here. I did. I feel like I ordered a bunch of clothes. I got a couple like. I have a couple of trips that I'm going on. So I've got clothes that I ordered because usually, you know, you need, you gotta, you gotta brand up, I guess, you know, and you, you can't always rely on the brand or the marketing agency, the PR agency to provide you with enough stuff to get you through a weekend. And you might not want everything they give you. So like I usually pick up stuff. This is stuff from Saucony that I picked up. I don't know if there's shoes in here. Now that I remember it, but like, I don't have a Saucony trip coming up, but, um, I've been reviewing more Saucony shoes and I've just realized I don't have like a lot of Saucony clothes. So I felt like I should probably branch out. Previously, I didn't worry about that too much. I would just wear Tracksmith. But now like Tracksmith is kind of a competitor or I would wear like Path Project stuff and that's easy or Janji um, or Rabbit. But um, now that I have more space in the con, we're not in the condo anymore. I feel like I can 
store more clothes, I guess, for the purposes of a review. So that's kind of a little preview of what I think is in the box. Um, Gabriel Natividad says, hey, Kofuzi. What's going on, Gabriel? And Raymond Lewis says, when is the Kinvara Pro coming out? You know what? I don't know. And here I'm going to put a little gripe in here. I don't think anyone from Sockety watches this. So I feel like I can share this with you guys. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. But I'm just like putting it out there. And I'll, and, I'll, and I'll put in a gripe about New Balance too, just to make it fair. But my gripe about Saucony is that like, so we, I got a lot of emails back and forth when we were, they were doing the Endorphin Elite release. They sent the crate. It was really fun. There were like multiple reminders about when embargoes were and everything. So I was like, okay, cool. Now there's finally like a relationship. And then I even got a follow-up email saying like, oh, we appreciate, you know, all the content. We love it. We're glad you like the shoe. Sorry about the little knuckle blister that you had there, you know, a little joke. And I was like, okay, I feel like this is great. And then I was like looking around. I was like, uh, I remember hearing on the Believe in the Run podcast that like Megan and Thomas were talking about the Kimbara Pro. And I'm like, I don't have a Kimbara Pro. And then they were talking about some other shoe. I can't remember what other shoe they're talking about. I'm like, oh, oh no, they weren't. That was the only one that I was thinking of. But then I was also thinking like, oh, everyone else got the Triumph 21 or whatever number we're on now. I just finished reviewing the last year ones. But whatever number they're on now, and like their people already have the new one. And I'm like, no one sent me one. I don't want the new one. I want the run for good version. So I sent out an email to the, like, my contact and I haven't even gotten a response. So I'm like, well, that doesn't feel great. So I'm not mad at anybody. They'll send it to me when it's ready. You know, when they're ready to send me stuff, they'll send me stuff. I feel like there's probably a reason. I, I mean, a response email would be great, but there's a reason. Maybe it's not ready yet. Or maybe they want to wait for that Kofuzi bump later in the product cycle. <laughs> I tried to say Kofuzi bump, like the Colbert bump. I tried to say that with a straight face. I couldn't do it. Uh, but you know, so I don't know. I have no, I, I have no information on the Kimbara Pro. I'm not super excited about it. Uh, maybe that's why they're not sending it to me right now because I've mentioned that a couple times. It's I'm super curious about it. I'm not sure that I'm gonna like it. Um, I haven't been reviewing the Kimbara for several years either. So like maybe that's what it is. They want to save it for the people they think are gonna be most likely to enjoy it and be most enthusiastic about it. So maybe that's what it is. But you know. Maybe I'm really old fashioned. Maybe I'm just old. Maybe I'm a boomer. Am I a boomer? I think I might be in. I think I'm an old soul. So I think I am a boomer a little bit. But I'm like a response email would be an acknowledgement email would be nice. Um, you know, but I don't know. Uh, yeah. So something else related to here's my other gripe. Same thing about similar gripe about the New Balance from New Balance. Um, everyone else seems to have gotten the SE Trainer 2. No one has sent me an email about the SE Trainer 2. I wanted to send an email yesterday, but like, hey, can someone send me a pair or what? I got another shoe from New Balance. The embargo doesn't lift until October. And I've had the shoe for a month and a half already. Um, but like, remember that day where I almost unboxed it and showed it to you guys? I thought it was going to be the SC Trainer 2. But instead, it was a different shoe that's under embargo. And I'm just wondering, where's the SC Trainer 2? I'd really like to be running in that right now. But um, I don't know. Maybe I have a feeling I'm not going to like that one. So maybe that's what they're thinking, too. So maybe that's why I didn't have it. But it is like, you know, it would be nice to... Someone said they were sending it to me. And then they sent me that the other thing that they were also going to send to me that's under embargo. Um, but then the SC Trainer 2 didn't come. So I'm like, what's up with that? Again, a follow-up email would be great. But, you know, it does make me feel like I'm old because I just started working with an editor, too. We just Like, literally yesterday. And um, I keep wanting to email this editor person. It's it's Daniel, so you guys know. Uh, Philly Bowden's partner. And um, I keep wanting to email him, but he keeps insisting on, like, texting me or, like, messaging me. And I'm like, ah. Uh, I'm finding it hard to work this way. But I'm like, look, I got to get with the times. I really want to work with him. So I got to figure out a way that I can work with him. You know, <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just old. I'm just old. All right. Um, 
Fiener says, baby boomers were born between 1946 and 1964. I'm, I'm aware of where the name of the generation comes from, but I feel like I'm, I'm a kindred spirit. I'm, I was born a decade and a half later than that, but I feel like I'm a kindred spirit, at, the, at least at this point. At least at this point. Um, Martha says I'm the boomer person here for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what's funny is um, so I'm on relay with a bunch of other people that uh, Patreon group that I'm a, a part of, and I've been talking with um, Kara Goucher and Laura Thweet, and they both are like, they just don't really like they don't like any kind of cloud services it seems, um, and so. They're like, you know, I'm just not good with technology. I'm like, I think that you guys just guys just get brainwashed when you're at Boulder. That something happens to you guys. It's like a Mark Wetmore like anti-technology cult a little bit. So you guys don't like it. But uh, they're, but they're like, they're, we feel like boomers because we don't know how to use a shared calendar on Google Drive. And I'm like, eh, I can relate sometimes. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what else we got in here. Um, Stephanie says that Saucony used to make the make women's running shorts called the Saucony Bullets that were the best. They stopped making them and haven't found anything I like as much. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. I don't know. I'll put in a word for you. Mm. Brian Lang says, Co, will you bring Kofuzi stickers to Peachtree? I want to deck out my water bottle. I don't have Kofuzi stickers anymore. Should I get some? I, maybe there's enough time. Maybe I'll maybe I'll have some made. Do you guys want Kofuzi stickers? If you know what, I will. I'll I'll make I'll get some Kofuzi stickers made. I just don't want to. For I think for the for for Petri, it might work out because we'll have the live stream live. Because I just don't want to bring a stack of stickers and have to carry the extras during a shakeout run. So I don't want to do that. But um, for Petri, since we're doing live stream live, that'll be at night. There's not a run associated with that. So maybe, yeah, okay. Well, I don't know where my to-do list is, but I'll put it on my to-do list. <laughs> um, all right. Mm. Yeah, Lala P says, you know, the guy from your PO post office mailbox is keeping them. No, I, <laughs> I don't think so. He's asked me, we've had like three conversations about the Nova Blast 3. He's like, what's your favorite shoe again? He's like, I'm like, it's a six, no less three. And the next time I go and he'll be like, what's that shoe again? It was a Reebok. I'm like, no, it was an a six. So like, I don't, I don't think he's all that interested. You know? mm. Let's see. All right. There was something else in here about. <laughs> CB76 says, why did, why did the boomer cross the road to show how it's done? <laughs> I like that one a lot. I'm laughing too hard at that one, I think. And Calvin says, you know, you use Final Cut Pro. No way a boomer could even hope for that. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like uh, maybe. I don't think so. Felix says, like, wait, what if inside the box there are some Kinvara Pro? I don't think it's, it doesn't. You see here? It doesn't. It doesn't sound like their shoes in here. So I don't know. Mm. Raisin says, Oh, suck at Japan here. First time I could be awake to catch live. What's your go to watch for daily and for runs? I have the Apple Watch 6, and I saw you wear your Polar Pacer Pro on Strava. I'm actually wearing both of them right now. And so I like the, I love this. It's complicated, but the short answer is I like the Polar Pacer Pro and the Garmin whatever the re most, most recent Garmin 200 series is. I think I have Garmin 235. That one works out really well for me. The Polar Pacer Pro, I like the most for sleep metrics and also if I'm going to use a foot pod. It just works well together. The Garmin and my foot pod don't agree. They Something weird happens. But if I'm not going to use a foot pod, I like the Garmin for running metrics more. The sleep metrics I find undesirable. They're not good. The Apple Watch I wear, I wear it at the same time just so I don't have to run with a phone. So that's why I have two watches. All right. 70 says, yes, get Kofuzi stickers. Mike Ziegler says, yes. All right. Okay. We'll do some stickers. Um, all right. We'll do stickers. Mm -hmm. 
Jason Ram says, when and where is a shakeout run for Peachtree? I'm not sure. So we're final we're finalizing information for the um I mean the date and time are set for the live stream live. I keep forgetting the name of the fleet. It's a fleet feed. There's probably multiple in Atlanta. Um doors open at 6 30, starts at seven. And then there'll be like light snacks and hangout time afterwards. Um, I don't know about the shakeout run. I'll get more information on that. I'll email someone today. What's today? Thursday? I'll make sure to email someone today so that way we can hopefully have some more information for tomorrow. And Sam, Bar Sam Barclay says, my stepdad is coming with me for his first ever park run on Saturday. First of many, I hope. Awesome, Sam. Well, you have to let us know on Monday how it goes. Um, we'll give him a cowbell for his first ever park run too. So that's awesome. That's cool. Uh, yeah, Eliza says we need Kofuzi pizza stickers. Well, that's a good idea. I'll have to talk with Asics. Asics made that pizza design, so I don't have that one. That's their design. But maybe we could just make another Kof We could make multiple Kofuzi pizzas. I feel like we should have like here. Oh, here's a good question for you guys. So if we're gonna make Kofuzi pizza shirts um, for the Shakeout Run and Pizza Party in Chicago Marathon. I was thinking it would be the same graphic, just a different color shirt for a different Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, right? So maybe it would be like purple or blue or yellow. You know what I mean? Like we'll just pick a different color. The other way to go is we could do a different style of pizza for this year, you know, and see if the graphic could be like, maybe we do like a Detroit style or maybe a New York style slice. You fold with folded, you know, would you guys got to let me know what you guys would think would be better. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. We'll have to figure it out. We'll figure it out. We got time. We got time. But I'll figure out some stickers too. And I figure like stickers are the fun thing could be about stickers is that like you could just print off a batch or get a, a batch print and cut. And then there could just be a lot of different ones constantly. And so I think that would be kind of nice though what was nice about like the the asics van tour was made a different shirt for like every sh shakeout run almost every shakeout run and so people would show up with like different colored shirts we did what we did intentionally wacky colors like the peach like the cherry blossom one is pink which makes sense for cherry blossoms but it was like pink and then other ones were like light blue and all sorts of wild colors um and so it was like fun to see like what colors people were showing up with but i feel like Seeing the stickers around would be kind of fun, too. Mm. See, Vanessa says she wants New York style pizza slice next time. Mm. Let's see. Eric says it's got to be deep tissue or tavern style. It's Chicago. Here's the thing. I really dislike tavern style. It's just it's frustrating. It's unsatisfying. Martha says we got to get one with Denver pizza with honey on the side. See, I feel like if we do another tour, I was thinking about another tour today on my run. I was thinking about like, um, I, I, I was like, oh, maybe I could work with a fleet feet and go to a bunch of fleet feet locations. And then like we have a different either sticker or something. Maybe it's a, a silk screen shirt. I mean, those are it just the cost adds up on that fast, but like, if we have a different one with pizza from each one, just call it the pizza tour. That'd be kind of fun. Um, so that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Ideas. I need good ideas. But I got to do it. Um, there's some votes for keeping the same graphic. Mike Ziegler says keep the same graphic. I, I just love that graphic so much, though. That's why I wouldn't mind having that shirt in a bunch of different colors. Brian Lang wants to know how I feel about pineapple. I love pineapple on pizza back when I ate meat. Because I feel like pineapple and like a Canadian bacon or a really salty meat on top um, balances because like the sour sweet of the fruit. And then the, if it's like a slightly crispy type of meat topping, I feel like it balances out really well. Um, so I feel like when people ask if I like pineapple on pizza, I feel like you're only asking half the question. You know, like, are you so are you going to eat meat on this pizza too? Because without it, I feel like then it just makes the pizza soggy. So I feel like you got to do both you know mm. brian says i want a peach 
a Petrie shirt, a Kofuzi shirt for Petrie. I don't think we're going to do one. I don't think one's happening. So, well, mm, yeah. So that's, um, unfortunately, that won't happen. Uh, 1HP says, uh, no, Daniel Burton says, I would, I want Kofuzi hats. Um, and Daniel Burton says Kofuzi hats. Those are coming. Um, I just approved a, um, a mock-up. So I don't know. It's not going to be very soon, but it's coming. And it looks really good. I'm super excited for it. I, yeah, you guys are going to want that hat. It's going to be good. Um, and Andrew Scott agrees that uh, party, sli party cut slices ruin the pizza. It just makes me so mad. Because <laughs> I want more. I just want more pizza. I, I understand. Um, that, you know, for a party cut, you don't want to be holding like a giant slice of deep dish while you're like chatting up with friends. But like, these are not hors d'oeuvres. I want pizza. Don't cut it into little squares. It's so annoying. And then no one takes the corners. So I always feel like I take I should take the corners because I'm usually like the hungriest person there. Pretty much, no matter what room I walk in. And so I, I just go and collect all the corners. Although what's weird is my children are strange. They like the corner pieces. They don't like pizza crust. They don't like bread crust. But they'll eat corner sliced pizzas if it's party cut. I don't know what's wrong with them. I've somehow failed as a parent <laughs> all right let's get to the box this is a box from saucony um stuff that i bought myself so like i was mentioning earlier um sometimes like you just don't get enough apparel from the brand if you're going on like a trip or doing an event with them um and uh you might want some extra stuff or um you know you might want to be able to kind of pick and control what you're wearing a little bit more and that rather than relying on whatever the PR person brings. So um, I sometimes will order a bunch of stuff. I don't remember what I ordered though. So this will be. Oh, I bought, I ordered a bunch of stuff in colors. That's a surprise. Why did I do that? All right. Let's see what we got. First thing. What is this? It's, White. Just a white singlet. It's got a, a silver. Uh, what do they call it? Do they do they call these partridges? They look like partridges to me, but I don't know. Is it a bird? I know it's got the three. Is it the river? It's got the three things in here for the stones in the river where Saucony is. But I I keep wanting calling it the Saucony bird or the Saucony partridge. I don't think that's what it's called. You guys are gonna have to help me out with that. But Nice basic singlet. Let's see what it's called. Stopwatch singlet. That'll be nice. Perfect for summer. Okay. Eric's like, it's the river, dude, with the stones. Okay. Stevie's only like, this is a peas in a pod. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh,. Yeah, Shannon says, I'm a square. I like avoiding most crusts. I'd rather just eat bread. You know, I, I, my kids also don't love cheese, which I find really surprising. They like grilled cheese and they like quesadillas. We eat those all the time. But like, like I don't know, like if things are too cheesy, they're like, it, they, they, tells me, they tell me things are too cheesy. I think that's part of why they don't like the squares. They don't, they don't want the inside pieces. They want the crust. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's hard to... Hard to explain. All right. Uh, next one. I think I just got a t-shirt here. I don't know what color this is. But similar mesh material. Um, so like definitely more in like the everyday training kind of material, not like super elite stuff for this um, stopwatch singlet. But I didn't want like a super like racing singlet. I wanted one that I could really beat up. Shirts made out of, I think, the same material. Again, we got the Saucony, the river graphic, and then three dots on the back. I really like the three dots that Saucony has been using. They've been using it in a lot of like their uh, marketing and like on like their digital marketing materials and on throughout the website. And I just like it because it kind of reminds me of like the hamburger button that you see in a lot of apps and stuff and or like or like ellipses, you know, but I just kind of like it. It just makes me like think like there's more. There's more. You know what I mean? So I kind of like that, but um, it doesn't say what color this is here. 
I'm sure like the codes back here will tell you what color it is, but I don't know. I'm going to say blue green. I don't know. Andrew Scott says seafoam. It's just Mark says pastel mint. And a lot of, a lot of, a lot of for seafoam. He just love the color. I do like this color a lot. It looks nice, but I can't tell. Like if you told me it was like blue, I'd be like, okay, maybe there's a little green in here. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. There's there's just a lot of colors in here. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered all this stuff. Oh, this is nice. I forgot. <laughs> What's funny is like it wasn't that long, but I just forgot all of what I bought. So I bought a t-shirt because I was like, I just kind of need I don't need all of my clothes to be like running stuff that I want to have from Saucony. So I bought this one. East Coast Athletics Department. I like this one because it was like kind of old schoolish. I don't know if this is like a camo pattern on here or a tie dye, a little mix of both throughout the letters. And then it's got embroidered Saucony with their um, the foot with wings. Let's see if we can get focus on this. There we go. See that? Nice. I really like that. So I think that's why I got it. And then I do like the graphic on the back too. Martha says this one's royal blue. Is it? Okay. I'll, I think I think so. Maybe. Mm, Matt Matt Chittam here. He says, I love how you buy lots of clothing colors but prefer the black shoes. Yeah, you know, but like, as you could see, I've been branching out from black shoes too. Well, a lot of it's because that's what they send. Uh, so it's whatever they send. But for the clothes, you know, uh, the way I look at for, for like running shirts, most of my shorts are black because otherwise then you play the sweat or pee game. Um, and so like colors up top make sense to me. And then this will just be like, well, I mean, it's like, it's a pretty nice dark color, you know, I feel like that works. You could do that with most of the pants that I have, which again are black or gray. So I think that works. This, uh, I don't like this color. I know I ordered it, but I don't like this color at all. Maybe I do like this color. I don't know. It's changing. As The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm changing. The, when I looked at it down here, and then it looked more blue, and I don't really like blues all that much. Oh, these are much longer than I was expecting. I don't know why I got these. These are the Outpace 7-inch short. Uh, you know, I got the little ellipses down here. And then a pocket in the back. Doesn't look very big. Maybe you could fit a gel in there. Hold on. How big is this pocket? Yeah, you're not going to fit a phone in there. May I don't know, maybe. I don't think you're going to fit a phone in there. Um, and I thought there'd be side pockets on this, but maybe not. There is a liner, but it's not like a two-in-one. I'm not sure I'm going to like these. I don't remember why I bought this. I'm trying to see if there's any internal pockets. Huh. We'll see how it goes. We'll give it a shot. And then something more in my wheelhouse. Yeah, frankly, it'd be like gym shorts. Yeah, I think maybe. Maybe I'll wear them in the gym. I also think that like uh, it's summertime right now. Like I feel like I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm in the suburbs now. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of other dudes wearing five inches around here. So I just feel like uh, I'm saying that as right now I'm sitting here in split shorts, some John D split shorts. The split goes all the way up to like my hip bone. So, so, so that being said, I just feel like I've been wearing two short shorts in the suburbs. I don't know if the neighborhood's ready for that. So maybe that's why I bought these. I don't know. You know what I think I need to do? I think I need to record when I'm actually ordering this stuff too. And just like narrate. Trying it, it's summertime, so there may have been beers involved. I'm not sure. All right. This is the same short, but at five inches. I like this much better. This suits me a lot better. And I'm not what I don't know what color. I think this is maroon, burgundy if you will. We got the three dots, which I like right here. 
hang tight, more to come. That's why I feel like what it's saying. Uh, and then it's got a liner as well. Similar small pocket in the back. You fit your maybe a gel and your car keys in there. No side pockets, but you know these are running shorts, so what are you going to put in there anyway when you run? I think I'm going to like these a little bit more. So there. That's what's in the box. Uh, I, I I give that box a B plus. I don't know. Should I rate these box the boxes from now on? I'm gonna give it a B, B B plus. B. I don't know what I was thinking for some some of those shorts, <laughs> to be honest with you. But uh, you know, we'll give them a try. We'll give them a try. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Daniel Burton says the the five the five inch. Yes, it's much better. I I think so. I think so. Uh. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Eliza says, be the influencer in the first to shorty short. I mean, I am. You know, the first the, last week was the first time when I saw one of my neighbors out on the running paths. Because I see some of my neighbors running around the neighborhood. Um, but then I actually saw one of my neighbors running on, like, the bike path. Which, like, you have to drive to get there. So that's the first time I like saw one of my neighbors. She lives across the street. I recognize her because she has like double like those um, shin splint, those rings that people wear. She runs with those. She has double. And um, yeah, I was like, how did you know it was her? I'm like, because of the shin splint things. Not a lot of people running with double shin splint rings. But yeah. Um, <laughs> Charles Ventures. Uh, anyone remember when SL20 was the word of the day? <laughs> Every day because of its value and always recommended. Good times. I, I forgot about that. I was trying to think about that yesterday. I was like, what was the thing that was the word of the day all the time? Uh, and I forgot that it was SL20. <laughs> um, Kyle Patton says, I wish it was publicly acceptable for men to wear short tights. They're the most comfortable things to run in. Okay, here's here's what's going on. So uh, everyone's been kind of like uh, going crazy about the Fred Curly speed suit. It looks like he's wearing like um, like a button up shirt and uh, quarter tights. But I've been informed it's actually one a one piece speed suit. You know the gray one with the red Asics kind of like it's like a it's almost like a Charlie Brown diagonal pattern that's on it. Um, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful top. There's a matching singlet that goes with it, but like it's a zip up, it like zips up from the halfway up um, and it's a short sleeve and he's a 100 meter sprinter. Oh, I think he's running the 200 meter this weekend. It should be. I mean, I kind of want to really see that 200 meters live, but it's in New York. But um, apparently the quarter tights that he's been wearing, it's all like sewn together with the shirt. Um, and but the reason why I thought it was a separate shirt and shorts is because right around when they signed Fred Curley, Asics sent me a quarter tight there's no pockets but it's a short tight um and i think it look it's made to look exactly like the speed suit that fred Curley's wearing and i've been waiting for a moment to bust it out but like i'm not sure are you guys i don't know if you guys are ready for it and then related to that um i was looking through my shorts today because i want it's hot and I had a workout today and I wanted to wear short shorts or split shorts. And I was like, oh, let's get these bandit ones. And I'm like looking at them. I've run in them before and they're a medium and they fit. But I'm looking at the liner and I'm like, I don't know why I was looking. At, I, maybe I was looking for if it was going to have enough pockets for my gels because I couldn't remember. And then I noticed that the liner had a little pocket in the front part of the crotch. And I'm like, that is not a feature that exists on men's liners. And I'm like, wait a minute. When they sent me these shorts, Bandit also sent me a woman's sports bra. I don't know how that happened, but I'm like, have I been running in women's split shorts this entire time? I'm not sure. So I have to go check the website to see if that is in the men's section or not. And maybe it was just like, an, a, I don't know, like a mistake with the liner. But I don't I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah. See, is it pockets on the crotch? Yeah. I mean, it's it what it's not for gels. 
<laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So I, I don't know. We're going to uh, maybe, so like I may be running, I, I don't know if the quarter tights, I, I had a conversation with ASICs about the quarter tight. I was like, I would try it if I had a pocket, but where am I even going to put my car key? They were like, I know, I know. Um, but I think at some point I'm going to need to try that. I don't know where I'm going to put my car key. Maybe I'll wear a flip belt that day. But I also like, I don't have any ASICs racing. I guess I could do Oh, you know what? I got the Magic Speed 3. I was like, I don't have any ASICs racing shoes. I'm not going to do that in Nimbus 25s. That would be a little, little silly. Um, but maybe I'll get some Magic Speed 3, do a little bit of a workout in some quarter tights. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Kevin Hong is telling uh, Andrew Scott they're European. <laughs> Andrew Scott says, "Were they were they in a bin? They sound like Michael Scott's pants." I no, they they well they were they were sent to me in a large batch of clothing that Bandit had sent. Um, most of the items were men's, but there was like, oh, they must have accidentally thrown in a woman's sports bra in here. And uh, now I'm thinking. Maybe those shorts are women, but like, well, how would women's how would women's medium fit me who wears a men's medium? That wouldn't make. I feel like here's the thing: they're they're. I don't think that that would fit. So I feel like they're men's shorts, but they just have an extra feature in the liner. So M Matt wants to know if we're gonna see them in the next Get Ready with video. <laughs> you <can> see me. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm gonna say like male runner tries to figure out what the pocket in the crotch is for. Can put some gels in there. And put a phone in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, all right. Here's a running shoe question of the day. Yeah! All right. Kyle Patton wants to know, Co or anyone, does the more V4 or the more Trail V3 actually have a four millimeter drop? Run repeat measured it at over seven millimeters. I have no way. I, no, I mean, I feel like it feels like a four millimeter drop. Um, it feels to me like a drop that is reminiscent of what I'd find in like a Bondi. Um, I don't want to get into the game of measuring drop uh, because I feel like it's one of those things that is incredibly difficult to get repeatable results. Um although it has the illusion of being very scientific and objective and not subject to variability, but like, it depends on where you're measuring it. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Are they including the sock liner when they do that, whether it's new balance or run repeat? I don't know. So it's just a game that I don't want to get into. I'll go with whatever the numbers are and I'll let you know if it feels like it's more or less. And that's basically how I want to play. That's how I approach field drop. Mm. yeah cousin pine america says run repeat versus running warehouse often have completely drop info on the same shoe uh yeah so like um these days anymore i used to like for shoes that i didn't get a spec sheet um because a lot of times like if you look at the website for a shoe it might tell you the weight but it does it frequently does not tell you um the stack heights it might tell you the drop but it might doesn't always tell you the stack heights and so for a while i would then like kind of like figure out i would google search everyone and see what everyone says and like if i saw a number pop up like four or five times then be like that's probably the right number because i figure other people probably got the spec sheet and i just didn't um, but after a while i just stopped if i if i don't get if they don't get me a spec sheet and if i forget to, i forget to ask for one i just don't report the numbers because like um uh, uh, sam at uh Oh, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Same on road trail run. He, they measure theirs. They also weigh theirs and their numbers are always different from whatever's like reported on the spec sheets, which I understand that that can happen. There's natural variabilities. I, I also know that they don't always use the same reference sizes when they do their measurements. Um, and then like running warehouse will typically make their like first look videos months ahead of time. Like they get shoes before anyone like, Connor's already running in like fresh foam more version six. It's wild. He's like, you want to see it? I'm like, no, 
I don't. I'll be way too confused. Um, so they just get stuff way ahead of time. And like sometimes when they make those videos, like their heel drop, I, I'm not certain. This is my, this is what I think from what I've kind of seen. They, they might have a very different explanation for it. But like, I'm not going to speak for running warehouse, but this is what I, an example of what I think can happen. They get stuff early. It might have one set of heel drop and stack height information. And it may slightly change between like almost final version that they send out to testers and final version that gets put into production and sold in stores. And so like, I, I think that's what happens with a, a lot of that stuff sometimes. Um, and that's why there's different numbers on it. I have noticed that running warehouse has been putting a little notation in their video saying like pre-production unit, final unit numbers may vary, you know? So they've been, they've been, they realize that that's happening too, it seems. So, yeah. <laughs> Guys, you're so funny. Eric Fairmont says, want to see it from <laughs> Connor. <laughs> and Randy says, Connor was talking about the split shorts. Connor does wear the split shorts. I don't think I've ever seen him wear half tights. He's a split shorts guy. I mean, he ran in college. I feel like that's a, that's a, that's, it's like a cultural thing. He just came up a different way than I did. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Shannon says, like, it's the Connor after dark for only Foozy. <laughs> that is a fun mashup of phrases and words. I like that one a lot. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you guys are making me laugh so much today. I love it. Um, all right. I think that's going to be a good place to leave it today um uh, because uh i got a, i got a bunch of stuff i gotta take care of today i'm getting interviewed this afternoon um i'm gonna take my daughter to the running store today and it's um a leg day so i gotta go hit the gym at some point today too i just got a lot of stuff i gotta take care of so i'm gonna get going tomorrow's guest we're gonna we didn't have one today for happy hour but we'll have one for tomorrow for happy hour we're gonna have emily heller here um i'll just double check with her to make sure she's still got a schedule i know she's been working like a crazy number of hours this week um so i'll just make sure she's still good for it but she should be here tomorrow so that should be fun come and say hi same time as today 1 p.m central time hopefully i see you then in the meantime be safe out there everybody thanks bye